That's better. Welcome back everybody to another Bringer of Light Productions video. In this video, we're going to be unboxing a package. Let's shed some light on the situation. So, this came in the mail today. Uh, and I know it looks like just a normal, regular old brown cardboard box, but you know that saying, don't judge a book by its cover? Well, don't judge a package by the box. What's inside this box is something that I've wanted for about two years, I think, is when I first became aware of, of, of this, what's inside this box. And um, with birthday money and stuff recently, I was able to purchase it. Well... So excited. So, without further ado, let the unboxing begin. Wait a second, I don't have a table set up, but one, give me a second. Can't do an unboxing video without a table or something. Okay. Take two. All right, so I have not opened this package yet. I was going to, and then I was like, wait, why not do a video about it? Since I'm gonna be doing a video about the knife, Anyway, <gasps> I wasn't supposed to tell just yet. You were supposed to see it first. It was supposed to be a surprise. Oh well, spoiler alert. It's a knife. So what's so special about this knife that I had to do an unboxing video about it? Well, there shouldn't have to be anything special about the knife in order for me to do an unboxing video because, well, knives are cool. But this particular knife, I've wanted for quite a while and I'm just super excited. So. Turn the knife right side up so. Alright, so we have the return mailing slip in case I ever want to return it. I don't know why I would. It comes very solidly in the box. That's really stuck in. Okay. But we don't need this anymore. All right, so we have these two boxes right here. Um, before we open this, I'm gonna tell you what the knife is. It's called a clinch pick. Um, clinch pick was developed by Craig Douglas quite a few years back. Um, Craig Douglas is a he's like he's an ex-military, ex, -military, ex uh, kind of a spook. So he he carries uh, I believe several black belts in several different martial arts. Uh, a couple in like Kali and martial arts that are specifically designed for weapon manipulation and like knife fighting. What he came across it was that in the confines of like cars and elevators and small areas where a lot of the business that he was doing for the government took place, knives like this and some of this and the skills he learned like even uh even karambuts and stuff which i have one of those too but just huh what's a karambut this it's like a claw except the way you hold it the most knives you hold like this right with the you know, blade forward and blade up and forward and i guess you could use it like this i'm sure there's orientations of of um kali and stuff that you can use this in it's a lot not kali i'm not an expert on martial arts but this knife is designed for usually to be held in this orientation with the claw pointing up. And it's made for uh, stabbing and hooking and ripping and stuff. And it's very deadly in the hands of someone who knows how to use it, which I'm not. Uh, I've dabbled a little bit in it, um, but uh, never enough to really get really good at it. So, he, you know, he worked with knives and stuff like this. Um, and this is specifically for fighting. And... Knives like this one here, this Kershaw, um, are best for like utility purposes. I normally use it, I just keep it in my pocket. Um, and plus it's just fun to open and close. So what he ran into was this knife, which was designed for fighting here, um, wasn't really doing the job. And these knives aren't very good for fighting at all. You absolutely had nothing else and then it is definitely better than nothing. And so what Craig Douglas did is he designed a knife that kind of eliminates a lot of those options. And it's called the clinch pick. So, unboxing it right here. I've ne I have never used this before or unboxed it. So, so it's meant to be, so this knife, 
I believe this is the actual blade right here. And then I also have bought a trainer um, to train with. But this knife is, most knives are meant, you know, to be worn with the handle up. This knife is meant to be worn with the handle down in this orientation. And um, the reason for this is that the blade of the knife is actually at the top, right here. You can see that shine there. So most knives, the blade is at the bottom right here. And so you cut forwards like that. This knife, the blade is at the top. If you can see it there. And so what this is good for, um, it's a very small blade. It's the handle, like it feels really good. It's an egg shape so that your hand like that feels really good in my hand right there. It's not that's not going anywhere. And um, the reason that the blade is at the top and not the not the bottom, or the it's at the back of the blade and not the front, is so in a situation, you know, if someone had me like here and I pulled like that, and I'm trying to be very careful because I really don't want to cut myself, it would cut, you know, their hands, the tendons right there. Um, and you know, you can still use it, like, you know, if you're in a clinch or whatever, you know, you're back around someone's biceps, you know, you can pull across their, you know, right here on their tricep, you know, you could cut their brachial artery right here. You could reach up and, you can still reach up and cut, and you can still stab with this into the soft parts um, of the body. So it's a very deadly knife, and it's designed specifically for fighting in a clinch, hence the reason it's called the clinch pick. Um, so that is the knife right there, and then in this box here, I have, I also bought the trainer, because I want to be able to use this and train with it. So the trainer is the exact, you know, the exact same, I don't know if it's the exact same weight, it might be a little bit heavier, but it, uh, same size, and this way, you know, I can practice with friends or my instructor for my martial arts is like, hey, if you ever bring a knife, because we do knife uh, fighting, because our niece is one of the weapon system we use. It's like, hey, if you ever get a knife for fighting, bring it. And if you have a trainer or whatever, bring it, you know, practice with it so you can get some practice. In. So I would, you know, bring this to class and, and be able to practice some of the drills. Um, so that, because all of our drills, we use knives like this with the cutting edge you know, on the front, and we, you know, we'll slice and everything, and I really like to be able to get better at this, using this in, um, in situations, and I could make a, like, rubber or, 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 or foam, like, version of this, just cut it out or something, so that I could, I have an actual trainer, so because, like, this would still hurt someone if I, like, really, like, hit them with it or something like that, and I really don't want to hurt people, so, but this is the trainer, Right there. So the trainer is red. The actual blade is black, which is nice. But yeah, there we have it. We have the clinch pick. I'll, I'll probably do a review on it. My thoughts on on this knife here in a few weeks or a couple months um, after wearing it for a while. Give an honest opinion. Let me know if you liked the video. Uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, I will do my best to accommodate. Before we check out, we have to have the bad dad joke. What did one ocean say to another ocean? Nothing. It just waved. Like they're bad but funny. Thanks again guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you want to see more content like this. I will catch you guys next time on Bringer of Light Productions.